One of the features introduced with iOS version 14 was a new QR code scanning app. Now, those of you who've been around the Apple ecosystem for a while will know that you can use the inbuilt camera app on your iPhone and your iPad or even your iPod Touch to scan a quick QR response code or a quick response code as it's actually known. So QR codes, for those of you who haven't used them, they do give you quick access to websites and you don't need to remember a web address. That's essentially what they do. They're just links to a website and they kind of look like a, a funny looking barcode. So to scan one, you'd simply open up the camera app on your device, in this case uh, an iPhone, and you just Go hold it above the, the little uh, QR code and that will launch a little pop-up so you can then open up that code in Safari. Now, we've known how to do that. Most of us have certainly known how to do that. But did you know there actually is a code scanning app that's available from iOS 14 onwards in your iPhone. Now, it's not something that is heavily publicized and it doesn't even have an icon which sits on the normal desktop or indeed in the app library on the far right of the iPhone screens. So there's going to be two ways that we can access this code scanner on our device. We can simply swipe down from the top of our device and then start typing in code and we can see it there and we can launch it. And let's just grab a quick snap of this code here and you can see I'm now able to check in something that COVID has taught us that we have to do. Now there is a second option here and we can add it to the control center on our device as well. So to do this we'll go to our settings app, we'll go to the control center down here, the third option is for our code scanner. Let's add that in and now of course when we swipe down there's our code scanner there. So that's pretty cool. The code scanning app, you could use that. You could use the camera app or you could use a third party one. Now, the only real issue we have with the inbuilt ones is that they don't maintain a list of all of the sites or QR codes that you've used in the past, something a third party application may support. So bear that in mind. Every time you open up, the code scanner, it is going to refresh and you will have lost the last code that you accessed. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments below and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day.